humans are finally going to choose what jobs they want to do and ones they don't want to soil their hands in with the new Apollo humanoid robot from Aptronic. And there's even a good chance that this robot will finally be our one-way ticket back to the moon and also the best chance at building a colony on Mars in preparation for human exploration. Aptronic is an Austin-based startup that's moving to revolutionize the way we view robots for a really long time. Aptronic announced Apollo on August 23, 2023, and so far, the reaction to this product has been insane, given the capabilities of this robot, which is likely to translate to robots complementing human labor in industries that the robot will be employed in. Some even worry that we might be close to the age of total control by AI. You won't exactly say that they're wrong to think so, but the CEO and co-founder of the company, Justin Carnatas, did have something really interesting to say to the journalist from CNN Business on this matter. And I'll address this later in the video. The announcement for the humanoid was made in a press release and accompanied by a video showing Apollo performing a variety of tasks, such as walking, unloading trailers, palletizing, and case picking and company officials have granted several interviews with regard to the technology, trying to explain how beneficial it will be to humanity on this planet and beyond. Apollo is a humanoid robot that's designed to be used in industrial and manufacturing settings, and Aptronic has already scheduled meetings with all companies that will likely be needing this technology within their establishments. The idea for Apollo is that it will be able to do things that humans are capable of, and for this to happen, it has to at least have features that humans have to make this happen. The introduction of large language models earlier this year has shifted the focus from single-purpose robots to ones that can basically respond to any command from the user. The website has some interesting details on these robots and highlights the key features that will be of benefit to the companies that will employ them in their work channels, making for a smoother operation. Just as can be averagely seen in humans, the Apollo robot is 5 foot 8 inches tall and weighs about 160 pounds. It has a unique force control architecture that maintains safe operation around people. At least that's what's been projected by the company. Although the robot has been designed to respond to commands without much human involvement, the creators added some safeguards that give some level of control to operators. You'll understand what this move is all about if you've been following the channel. It's a move that likely meant to soothe people that'll be freaked out by the robot. Yeah, that's right. If we go by what the CEO said in his interview, this won't just be another expensive lump of high tech that'll be available to the top 1%. In fact, on the contrary, the target is that the robot will cost less than the average cost of a vehicle. That's really mind-blowing. The capabilities fitted in this robot make it a perfect fit for help around homes and offices, giving users time to focus more on tasks that will yield better results and benefits. Aptronic plans to offer Apollo as a rentable service that will give warehouses a robotic option for roughly the same price as a human worker, which probably won't be exactly great news to factory workers. The company believes that Apollo has the potential to transform the industrial workforce and beyond. Addressing the tension surrounding robots fitted with AI taking over human labor, the CEO cleared the air by stating that these robots will most likely be employed in the areas of jobs that push people away from those jobs. Just as a worthy companion, if you wish. This way, people can focus on gaining more technical knowledge about their positions while just being involved in the monitoring of activities by the robot. Apollo is 5 feet 8 inches tall, which is an average human height, and weighs 160 pounds, which is still within the range of an average human. It has a payload capacity of 55 pounds and can walk at a speed of up to 3 miles an hour. Basically, what this means is that the robot has been designed to fit within a normal space designed for humans, all in a bid to make sure that it functioned optimally and will be suitable to substitute for human labor. Working hours is another consideration employers will always look at. It'll be really awful to have the robot freezing in the middle of a crucial task. Apollo is powered by a swappable battery, enabling the user to charge them at intervals. Each of the batteries provides up to 4 hours of runtime. Being swapped can keep the robots working around the clock. 
It's also equipped with a variety of sensors, including cameras, depth sensors, and force sensors, which allow it to navigate its environment and interact with objects. Apollo can also be programmed to perform a variety of tasks, such as picking and placing objects, lifting and moving boxes, and opening doors. Aside from the initial command the robot gets, it works very much like other large language models. So anyone can walk up to the robot and tell it what to do, and it'll be able to do just that. Apollo is still under development, but it has the potential to be used in a variety of industries, including logistics, manufacturing, and healthcare. It could also be used in disaster relief and search and rescue, and even the next space mission. So far, Aptronic isn't the only company that's working on robots at the moment. We have other companies like Tesla and Halliday Robotics who've already announced some pretty impressive stuff that they have in stock. So it's fast becoming a heated competition like we had with the large language models earlier this year. One advantage that Apollo has is that it uses electric motors instead of hydraulics to power the movement of the robots. Electric motors have proven to be a lot more efficient and easier to control than hydraulics due to some factors, making them a better choice for a collaborative robot that needs to work alongside humans. One of the major concerns with hydraulics is in terms of safety. Electric motors seem less likely to leak or cause injuries, which is an important safety consideration. Aptronic has integrated other technologies to make sure that the robot has better balance than most of the ones that we have presently. And with regards to that, in addition to electric motors, Apollo also uses a variety of other technologies to make the robot balanced. Apollo has a motion control system that allows it to precisely control its movements and maintain balance while at work. Also, the sensors in the vision system allow it to easily navigate its environment and interact with objects without much trouble. With the state-of-the-art software system, users can easily command the robot to carry out basically any activity. These technologies working together make Apollo a versatile and powerful robot that can be used for a variety of tasks. The possibilities are just endless with this thing. And something that's really interesting again about this innovation is that we might finally be having that second trip to the moon and even Mars. The only thing is that this won't be a manned mission, but these robots will be sent ahead to help put things in place for humans. Considering that these AI-powered robots aren't just going to maintain the level of functionality that they come with, a lot of people still have concerns about how this whole thing will end when they're able to learn and advance. I mean, if this is cheaper and more efficient than human labor, which I suspect it is, then we might be looking at having a lot of layoffs on our hands in no time. But hopefully, this will be just a compliment for human labor in those jobs. We will know for a fact after the scheduled meeting with employers. And before I forget, the use of electric motors in propelling the movement of these robots has some really serious advantages. Aside from being conservative in terms of energy consumption, with electric motors, it's easier to control the movement of the robot for more efficiency in workspaces. It also has a reasonable advantage in terms of safety. The hydraulic-powered motors involve the use of pressurized fluids that are likely to leak and cause harm to people around. This is definitely not the case with electric motors. And looking at the type of affordability the company is looking at, the use of electric motors is just the cheapest option if it'll be achieved. Overall, electric motors are a good choice for many robotic applications, but they're not always the best choice. The best choice of actuator for a particular robot will depend on the specific requirements of the application. Hydraulic fluid has been identified to be a really dangerous substance that can cause burns, skin irritation, and other health problems when it comes in contact with humans, which is a likely risk for such products like Apollo. That won't be just a good idea if they're hoping to see the robot being adopted to homes where anything could happen. If a hydraulic line leaks, the fluid can spill onto the floor or other surfaces where it can easily be tracked into the workspace and places at home. And for some time now, the lack of precision by some of these general purpose robots has been the main reason why they haven't been accepted widely. Hydraulic powered robots can be a little bit too strong and not something you'd like to have around your expensive glasswares at home or delicate equipment at work. They can easily crush objects or people if they're not properly controlled. To summarize it all, Aptronic has a germ in Apollo that will be deemed a worthy competition for other big tech companies that have their own products like Tesla and even Google. And that'll be all for this video, do catch the next one as it promises to be really informative.